see her come into this art fair that I know. It's always a good place to see artists in their natural environment. A big church. Yeah, and if you think it is a natural environment for artists, you'd probably be quite wrong. I mean, there's not much religion left in the arts. These spaces are just used for, um, just spaces. Some artists are just addicted to the smell of oil paint, and that's how they'll always be. So yeah, I finally found someone who's, uh, who's doing a sound sculpture at this exhibition. Uh, they look quite interesting, actually, although I'm not sure whether the headphones actually work playing the music. It seems to be about the destruction of a piano and uh, the journey that the piano has taken through the artistic journey, I guess. Right, so after flagging very heavily with all the traditional art, we're going to go and see what the interactive people have to offer. It's always a particularly disheartening experience, experiencing other people's art. It almost feels like you just want to tell them to get a bit more original, you know? Like, they're missing out on something vaguely meaningless. When everyone just copies each other, what more do we have to accomplish? But the ridiculous thing is that when I jest about art artists that are addicted to the smell of oil paintings, I'm exactly the same way. I'm as addicted to creating as any of these artists. It's just that when I look at what they have to offer, I'm always put off by the amount of talent that they have compared with me. And what really gets me is that it's never, ever about your raw talent. No one cares about how good you are. It's only about how well you talk to people. If you can't talk to people, then you're nowhere in the art world. It's just, it's just a no-brainer. No I can't talk to people that well. Yeah. That's something that I've got to learn, you know? I don't think anyone really talks to each other unless they know each other. That's just our age. But to make this vlog a lot more upbeat, I'm going to go to the interactive piano exhibition. Hurrah! I can make some noise now. Decent reverb. Let's get it even better. And that's the limit of my musical talent so far. To be honest, I'm not quite sure why I do this vlog. I guess it's just, I should really introduce myself as, hello, I'm a daily vlogger, and yet I'm in training. Daily vlogger in training. Oh, you 
So yeah, we've um, finally managed to buy something of someone. Uh, very nice potter called Leah Goldberg, and she's from Lincoln, and she does these lovely little, um, lovely uh, potter, pottery things, and she does lovely animals as well. And these are pretty cool, kind of model elephants and. Lots of animals. We got some stained glass lens flare right now. Ah, some sort. Of so yeah, I've been managed to copy some people's art, I'm trying to do some art, I'm trying to talk to people, but never seems to work. I want to talk to people, but much rather would talk to my camera. Green. What was the original show? Um. <laughs> because, like, literally, I can. I get some intense lens flare. You wouldn't want to point your cannon directly at that, would you? You'd probably destroy the sensor, wouldn't you? This will be on YouTube, I'm afraid. Is that okay? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll email you. I, um, I have an emailing list that I send my work to. Can I add you to that? Good. Wow. Damn. I'm also trying not to do editing as well. Like, oh. oh, finally. Into the light. And that's it for the Landmark Arts Fair 2015 Summer Exhibition. Met some great people, but the traffic around here is a bit bad, not very good for filmmaking, but I might have a few more viewers and I'll say to them, uh, goodbye.